Ooh, what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we got ourselves a brand new track from caskets and the song is called lost and echoes and yeah so this is a band that i've reacted to a couple times with their old band name captives so these guys they recently changed their name because of legal issues and now they're caskets but it's, it's the same members they're still signed to sharp tone records and if you know sharp tone they always sign good bands right they always sign bands with like really good music and uh yeah so these guys are pretty much post hardcore with um i was going to say metalcore but i i don't think so the instrumentals are almost borderline metalcore because uh you know they're shreddy and they're it's pretty fast and stuff at times but it is a post hardcore group like the vocals are really powerful lots of catchy melodies as well i don't think there's any screaming uh but yeah i'm excited to be checking this out because this is a brand new song from them and, and uh with their new name so i think that's all we need for chit chat so let's fuck do it Pretty synth heavy. I'm feeling God not now. Save me from my sins before I leave. And like an eighties feel to it. Love them with drumming too. Damn, those notes that he hits. I love that halftime beat in the drums. Bridge already. <laughs> this video is wild too. Woo! Ooh. Yeah, I'll catch you on the keys there. Okay, that was caskets, man. Okay, review time. So, uh, yeah, honestly, let's uh, let's go through the pros. And pros, man, like, there's a lot of things I liked about this song. So, number one, uh, let's go through the members. So, vocals, holy crap, vocals had so much power. Way more power than, you know, 
I've heard other songs from these guys before, and he's always had such great delivery and such uh, power to his performance. But I feel like with this song, holy shit, some of the notes he was hitting had so much power to it, man. Uh, really carried a lot of the parts of this music, like, you know, uh, the chorus. I absolutely love the chorus melody, the way that he was phrasing and doing the little um, uh, vocal melody at, at the fourth measure, I thought was really nice, too. The ooh, ah measure. <laughs> I can't do it, man. But I think you know what I'm talking about. But I really liked that part. I also really liked. Uh, I also really liked the drumming. I thought the drumming was another part to the song that I really liked because um, it really helped drive the momentum of the music going. You know, even the slower like verses and stuff. The drumming was still kind of like consistent pacing, right? Enough things going on to the ear to just like keep the, that momentum going. So I really liked the drumming and you know some of the drum fills that were happening to get into the like repeated chorus and stuff were fantastic. Really love that part as well. And guitar work, holy shit. I thought the guitar work was actually really good. You know, even in the verses had a cool like quiet riff on the higher end of the fretboard and stuff. And, but then when those like courses came, that chord progression just again, power. Power is the main word that I'm gonna be using for the review because it was all about power through the vocals, through the guitars, through the tone, through the drumming. Um, so much momentum that just carried the whole song and um, I liked the synth work that was another thing I don't I have to go back to other songs from caskets that I've heard with uh, if there was a lot of synth work but I felt like this song was actually pretty synth heavy but like it wasn't overbearing it was like nice little touches and uh, but I appreciate what they did in the bridge as well and what they were doing in the intro with the synth work I thought synth work brought a lot of life to this music and just gave things like kind of 80s flair to what was going on um not like total 80s but like a little enough synth pop vibes that i thought was cool and speaking of the 80s i, I want to talk about the music video music video was really good i love the colors and kind of reminded me of like my colors that i have uh but again that kind of goes with the 80s feel that i'm talking about i feel like it had that retro kind of look with it, but modernized and in terms of having the pink and purple and stuff and I just thought I had a cool look to the video that just really matched this song because this song was catchy, poppy, powerful, and it was just a really good tune, man. This was a banger. This really was a banger. Um, it kept the pacing the whole way through, I thought the song. Another thing I liked was the song length. I, I thought the song length was perfect. It, it got to the bridge really quickly, actually. When it, the bridge happened, like, holy crap, okay. The, I didn't expect it to come so soon because I guess they did the chorus a little bit differently the first time around uh, from the second time they they did it. So there was enough like ideas and switch ups to just like be a little bit unpredictable for me. And so when that bridge happened, I'm like, OK, we're already here. But then the song kind of ends. And but I was satisfied. The song wasn't too long and it wasn't too short. I felt like we heard, you know, the chorus enough times without getting repetitive uh there was enough variations to the chorus as well so you know my interest was peaked the whole way through this was just a really good song and if i had to go through the cons cons would be nada nada i got no cons this was a good song man this was a banger um i enjoyed this then their last single and i think the single before that and i think the single before that too i think this is my second favorite casket song or it could be my favorite I don't know this was a really good tune um, especially for their new you know having a new band name Whew. what a great song to release with the new band name I thought this was fantastic man but anyway guys that's my thoughts on caskets lost and echoes I'm curious to know what your thoughts are so comment down below spice up my life what did you guys think of this tune? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you got to this point in the video, then I appreciate the shit out of you, man. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.